Hello fellow YouTubers. Thank you for reviewing my video. This is my first YouTube video and I do not have any video editing software yet. So it's a little raw. Okay, what we have here is a uh, hot water heater, natural gas control valve or thermostat, whichever you want to like to call it. It's for water heater. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to tear it apart, see how it works. I never had one of these apart. And so you guys can see how it works. So what we're going to do is pop this off knob here. That goes. And I already tried pulling this off. Did cheat a little bit. Uh, it's stripped, so since we're not reusing it, I am just going to drill it out. Well. We finally got this out. Now I didn't grind it off, but I got that pried up. And it just screwed out. Okay. Okay, now we got the front of the control valve part. Got a diaphragm. A gasket. Gasket off. Oh, you see, pull this gasket off. Another diaphragm. That would go to the burner for the burner. Like that. It's a regulator spring for the burner. Check this out. What that is. Kind of want to see what's in there. It's riveted in. But that won't stop us from getting it apart. Just one big diaphragm. Teach my big fingers. Watch that one controls. So, is there a regulated the gas flow to the burner through here? Okay, now let's take the pilot apart. Off. 
Let's see. Bottom or top where the pilot went. Now we are going to take apart where the pilot fed. That's the pilot valve, and this is where the pilot the natural gas came in to feed the pilot light. We're not going to play around with this, so we're just going to cut these wires right here. Take this off. Don't know it's gonna be that easy. They pressed it in there, so you can't take it off from the factory. So we have to drill those out, take that off. So whoever's hooking it up doesn't accidentally unscrew it. All right, now we drilled those rivets out. Stamp press, whatever you want to call it. Now we're ripped the pilot key out. That screws out. Another diaphragm. Careful. Let's see what's hiding under there. I think that's another diaphragm. Nothing real spectacular in there. I'm wondering the same thing myself. What's in there? It's probably a toxic chemical. Got the thing valve totally disassembled. That's the valve body. We have left is at least one more diaphragm.
Any questions? Please let me know. Let me know how I can improve my videos. And thank you for watching.